each day of operation, a century-old ritual is performed, just as it was on the Nickel Plate Road. As her crew arrives, the 765 begins to awaken. Yesterday evening after we were done for the day, started filling the boiler up to a full glass of water, let the fire die down to the point that we could put a bank in the back of the firebox. And a bank is a large pile of coal on each side of the stoker pot. It's about 80 to 90 scoops of coal coke total. And what this does is the coal will sit there and kind of coke over all night and form a pilot light, if you will, to keep heat in the firebox and keep the engine warm, along with giving us enough hot coal to get the fire going again the next morning. Overnight off the bank, the boiler pressure creeped up a little bit and then started to fall back down as the boiler cooled off. Uh, we came in this morning and had about 190 pounds on the boiler and still a full glass of water. Care must be taken at every step to see that the locomotive is fit for the day's run. Visual inspection of the inside of the firebox is made to check for leaks or broken stay bolts. After the inspection, the bank can be broken. The bank maintained very well overnight. We had more than enough uh, coal left in there, live coal, to build the new fire off of. Went through the process of raking the fire forward very gently, sprinkling on some uh, fresh green coal. We're down 130, What it was, Al, I mean, you see right where the pressure's at right now. Yeah. We got off it yesterday when I looked over and it come up with the stack cap off of here, so here. Mm -hmm. I kept it at 240. That's where it is. Wow. We still had water out of both glasses this okay. morning. And because the boiler's tight, it's just that slight wisp out of the throttle is the only steam that she's losing overnight. Okay. The crew reviews a checklist ensuring no task is left undone. As the pressure builds and fires grow, the locomotive's other appliances come to life. Air pumps, turbo generator, and the whistle. Some servicing is obvious. Others, okay. like lubricating the stoker I know that. are not. Before the engine moves, the crew holds a job briefing. A final inspection by the crew ensures the engine is ready to move. Water in the boiler is topped off with the injector. And the 765 is alive.
hundreds of towns. Over thousands of miles. And people, millions of people. It's a well-traveled locomotive, and everywhere we've gone, we've been able to give the people that see us the experience of what it was like when these engines ran every day. As the engine moves through these little towns, we evoke all kinds of memories on young and old alike as to what it was like in the era when these things ran every day. And that, that is part of what we do bring this experience to people who have never seen it before. On the trip from uh, Fort Wayne to, to Lafayette, I think the thing that was the coolest for me was just seeing all the people that came out because it had been years, a number of years since there had been a steam locomotive on that route. So I just thought it was fabulous because entire towns had come out to see, witness this thing on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning. And uh, you can tell this is probably like the biggest thing that has happened in some of these towns in decades. And it's just, it's just wonderful to, you know, to see the reaction of people. You know, the steam locomotives make people so happy. And uh, you know, it's, it's sort of a, in an emotional service, if you will, is what is what's taking place there. You know, you're you're fulfilling some need to experience some history as it was, but you know, you're you're also um, you know feeding not only feeding their heads but feeding their hearts too. The memory they get of it running in 2013 is something they'll pass down to the people you know 20 years from now or 30 years from now, and they'll they'll talk about the day the steam locomotive came to my town.